Hello friends, in this tutorial we will be discussing about thyroid gland, its structure, the hormones it secretes, a brief overview of its functions and finally we will also discuss the diseases which are caused by the abnormal functioning of thyroid gland. So guys, let's get started. First of all, we see the structure of thyroid gland. In the diagram we can see it's a butterfly shaped gland with two lobes and these two lobes are connected by a narrow isthmus. These lobes have three primary features or three primary components. We can see they have follicles, follicular cells and parafollicular cells and they have different functions. To it are attached common carotid arteries which supply the blood, oxygenated blood to these lobes and it's further supported by a thyroid cartilage which is present on hyoid bone. Being an endocrine gland, it relies on signals from pituitary gland. So we see it's just located in the front of neck below Adam's apple. So it gives a quick response because it's just located in the neck and it receives signals from pituitary gland. Gets stimulated early. In the diagram, we can also see the trachea below the thyroid gland. Apart from this, the thyroid gland also receives nerve supply. It receives nerve supply from autonomous nervous system. From both the regions, that's from sympathetic nervous system as well as from parasympathetic nervous system. From sympathetic nervous system, it receives nerves from the superior, middle and inferior cervical sympathetic ganglia. While as from parasympathetic nervous system, it receives parasympathetic fibers from vagus nerves. Now let's jump towards the hormones secreted by thyroid gland. The thyroid gland secretes three hormones. First one is T3 that's also called triiodothyronine and second one is T4 hormone or thyroxine hormone and the last hormone secreted by thyroid is calcitonin. The first two hormones that's T3 and T4 are primary or major hormones of this gland and to a lesser extent the thyroid also produces calcitonin but the T3 and T4 are the major ones here. The T3 and T4 regulates whole body metabolism almost all the tissues are target of these two hormones while as the calcitonin it regulates calcium homeostasis in detail these three hormones will be discussed in different part of video now briefly we will be discussing the functions of thyroid gland this is just an overview here we see there are three major functions of thyroid gland first one is metabolic function second one is cardiovascular function and the third one that's developmental functions so what are the metabolic functions of thyroid gland the thyroid gland major function is to regulate the metabolism of the whole body the few functions include it increases bmr that's basal metabolic rate it decreases cholesterol levels it increases absorption in gut almost all the tissues are under the attack of t3 and t4 hormones so all the metabolism systems are under the control of thyroid hormones Second one is cardiovascular functions like it increase heart rate by increasing the heart rate that means O2 consumption is getting increased and finally there is an increase in blood flow and the development of functions include the growth rate the thyroid gland increase the growth rate of a person and it also has been demonstrated to help in brain maturation and other minor functions include sexual functions, calcium homeostasis by calcitonin, normal menstrual cycle and there are hundreds of functions that are related to thyroid hormone which we are going to discuss in different part of video. Now let's see the diseases or medical conditions of thyroid hormone. When the thyroid gland does not function properly, either it may be producing less hormone or excess hormone or an imbalance between T3 and T4. It starts to show symptoms or medical conditions in a person. So what are these medical conditions? What are the symptoms present in a person that we are going to discuss now? First of all, we will see what leads to hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism, a condition that occurs due to excessive production of thyroid hormone by thyroid gland. Sometimes as a whole gland produces much more thyroid hormone, but sometimes a single nodule is responsible for producing excess hormone called hot nodule. So what leads to hyperthyroidism why is this hyperthyroid why is this excess production of this hormone let's find out the main reasons behind the excess production of thyroid hormone are graves disease which is an autoimmune disorder second one is toxic thyroid adenoma a benign tumor and toxic multinodal goiter 
that's also sometimes called Plimore's disease. This hyperthyroidism is also caused by thyroiditis, that is the inflammation of thyroid gland. When there is an inflammation of thyroid gland, there is a more production of T4 and T3 hormones. But it must be noted here, there is another thyroiditis which is Hashimoto's thyroiditis which leads to the hypothyroidism. Now it's time to see what causes what leads to the hypothyroidism, that is the less production of thyroid hormone. The main reason behind the less production of thyroid hormone is the iodine deficiency a source for both T3 and T4 hormones. So we see now the iodine deficiency causes hypothyroidism and this hypothyroidism in turn causes several medical conditions like it causes Hashimoto's disease which is an autoimmune disorder in which there is a gradual destruction of this thyroid gland due to inflammation. And when there is thyroid deficiency at birth we call it congenital hypothyroidism and this condition leads to cretinism which is a stunt the physical and mental growth of a person in which there is a thyroid deficiency at birth. This was all about an overview of thyroid gland, its hormones, its functions and diseases. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.